Hi everybody, my name is Alexandria of Nails by Alexandria and today we're going to do a video on nail shapes and how to achieve those different shapes. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, please like and subscribe so that way you're always up to date on my latest videos. Today's shapes are going to be, uh, we're going to focus on square, squoval, um, the latest trend is lipstick. We have coffin, ballerina, almond, and oval. Um, we're going to do this on one nail tip. I've already went ahead and prepped her nails. I did apply a nail tip. Um, this is a very raw application. I didn't actually um, file down where the seam is to make it flush because I don't want to compromise the structure or the strength that we have right now when creating the shape. You always want to cut to the desired length, then file to your shape. Then you want to go back and file down that seam line so that it creates a nice smooth application. Um, so the first shape that we're going to get into is square. Um, to achieve your square shape, you just want to make sure that whether it's a tapered square or a very square square, that it's always straight across. Um, now, when you're cutting, just my tip, when you're cutting um, to the desired length that your client wants, if you ask your client, hey, is this long enough? And they say, just a little shorter. What you wanna do is you wanna cut longer than what the client wants because you're gonna be filing um, in case you cut it crooked, in case they want um, a coffin or ballerina shape. You wanna make sure that you have more length than what they are requesting. So this is a square, square nail tip. The only filing that we can do um, is if for any reason this is a bit jagged from the cut, you wanna go at a straight angle and just go ahead and file this into a very square, square nail. Very simple to achieve. I personally prefer the square nail. Um, I like it because as time goes on, the corners kind of round out and you'll get a squoble, so they won't look as old and it'll still keep longer um, and look better for longer. After the uh, square nail, there is the newest trend which is the lipstick nail, which is basically just a square nail. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut that tip at an angle. This is the newest lipstick shape. I personally not come across many who wanted this shape. There's a lot of controversy on whether this is a cute shape or not, but it is something that you wanna know for your clients. When you cut this shape, the desired length should always be at the longest point. So always make sure that whatever length they want is at the highest point that you're gonna have. Now, after the lipstick, we're gonna go ahead and even it out. So we're just gonna cut off that piece. Now, the next shape that we're gonna go into is coffin. What you wanna do to get a coffin nail is you wanna come in and you're gonna, you wanna just come in and just cut off this piece here. Now, when you angle your scissors, you wanna angle them so that the tip of your scissor meets where the free edge of your nail will be. And you're gonna go ahead and cut. And then you're gonna do that on the other side. Now, when you cut this, it's gonna seem very jagged and you're gonna feel like it's out of shape. Don't be scared to cut. You're cutting a coffin shape. You should. It should not look square. The only square aspect of it should be the fact that your tip is very um, straight, straight across. So when you get, when you wanna file for your angles, you always wanna keep your file at a 90 degree angle continuously, whether it's here on the free edge or on the, the top of the free edge or if it's here on your sides. Now, even when I'm filing the sides, I'm keeping a straight angle. Straight, straight. Always wanna make sure that you're filing straight, straight. So, you wanna make sure that when you're filing also, that your file is flat against the nail, and you wanna make sure that from the free edge, all of this free edge is connecting. So from the tip to the beginning of the free edge, it should be straight 
straight 90 degree angle, straight, straight, straight. That is gonna ensure that you get a very clean line. And you're gonna repeat it on the other side. Now you want to keep in mind what kind of file you're using. This is a 100, 180 grit file. So when I alternate to the other side, I'm gonna to wanna to flip my file over to continue to use the same grip. sides off and just created a very natural coffin nail. Now, after a coffin nail is the ballerina, um, a lot of clients and nail technicians get a very, it's a very big miscommunication on ballerina and the difference between ballerina and coffin nails. Coffin nails are, are the same, but the only difference is that Ballerina nails, the tip of the free at this top area is a lot smaller. Not quite a stiletto, obviously, because then it would be stiletto, but just slightly more than a natural looking coffin. To me, in my opinion, ballerina does create um, a more unnatural coffin look. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it the same way where you're cutting from tip to where the free edge meets and you wanna make sure that you just file it the same way you did the coffin with your 90 degree angles, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And you also wanna make sure that your tip is straight across. Ballerina will definitely have a very, 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 very similar shape to coffin. If it does not have a similar shape to coffin, then it's not done right. So here is our ballerina nail. See, where it's very, very, very similar to a coffin nail, same shape, same way process to get that shape. It's just way, way, way smaller here at the tip. After the ballerina would be the stiletto nail. Stiletto, again, this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come from the center, okay? You're gonna come from the center and cut down. So when you look here, I've already made my pre-cuts. So you'll be cutting from the center down to this corner and down to the other corner. If your biggest problem is that you're cutting too much, the shape gets weird, you get a lot of chunky area, especially um, this is the raw cut. Now you see how there's it's not too wide right here. It goes from a nice straight line. That's because we've built up to that. So if you cannot, or if you're not comfortable with cutting in the beginning and you find yourself cutting too much and just, it's not coming out right, it's just taking to, it's just chunky, just unattractive. What you wanna do is just build your way into it. Do exactly the steps we just did. So you'll go from the square and so forth and so excluding the lipstick shape if you're gonna <laughs> progress into a stiletto. And just like that, through that progress, look at how quickly I've gotten to the perfect stiletto. That point is gorgeous. It's right down the middle of the nail. It's not crooked. There's no chunk. The application, once I apply acrylic to a nail that's shaped like this, that's gonna cut down in your filing time on your acrylic also, because now you know it's kind of like painting or drawing or coloring inside the lines. Once you apply that acrylic, you know that you want to make sure that you stay in these lines. You're already more than halfway there with just the nail shape itself. Now to get to an almond, the best way is to go from a coffin to an almond. Now, um, I'm gonna cut off just a teeny bit of the tip. Um, so we're almost back to like a ballerina shape again and what you want to do is you want to just round out those corners um, depending on length so uh, the longer almond nails like this are usually more sculpted uh, when you use a free form uh, using free form is 
are these. These are for your forms. Um, when using these, generally, most people want more of an almond shape um, just because the walls are so gaudy, they come more formed out to the side where you'd still have all this. So for this one, um, this is more of your longer almond. Generally, people who like almond nails, it's because they like shorter nails. So uh, for this one, we'll cut it all the way down and show you what more of a natural almond would look like. And again, you're basically just going from a ballerina shape and you're just rounding out where the tip is, the corners of the tip. So that way you get a very natural shape, but you still have a tip. Whereas oval would be just straight across, rounded out at the top. And I will show you a little better. Um, almond definitely, in my opinion, is a lot better on shorter nails. Um, it's not a hard shape to achieve, just as long as you remember that you're doing an oval with a point basically with a with more of a point since oval already have points so there is a cute perfect little almond nail oh these are so cute i love short nails um just as much as long nails so these are perfect uh for somebody who wants you know something a little more spicy than just a supernatural oval nail um now to get to an oval nail you can either cut it or you can file it um me personally I'm just gonna go ahead and file it down do, do, do. and obviously your oval nails are just super super natural so they're usually short most people who want oval nails don't want a super long oval nail because it just doesn't look natural um, people who like oval nails really like a short natural oval shape um, oval is basically taking the point out of that almond shape so that you create something supernatural. Um, like I said, usually people who like oval shapes like them short, uh, maybe medium, depending on how jazzy they want to get <laughs> about it. Um, this is your perfect little oval. Now, see how supernatural that looks? I could just apply acrylic to that and that would literally look like her real nail probably. Um, so those are the different shapes. Um, if you would like a video going more into details about certain shapes, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know which shape you'd prefer that I go into. Also, go ahead and let me know any comments on better angles, constructive criticism, other uh, videos that you'd like me to do, etc. And please, 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 again, like and subscribe. Make sure you share, check out my Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for my sister Fran, who is letting me borrow her nails. Thank you guys so much and you have a great day. Bye.